This is a library training video for the London School of Theology. EBSCO is a company that have been supplying educational resources for decades, and many of our resources come from them because they are comprehensive and reliable and good value for money. Incidentally, EBSCO stands for Elton B. Stevens Company. He founded it in 1944, began in publishing, and now holds it now holds a very diverse portfolio of businesses, including those relating to education, and that's why we benefit from it today. If you've come to this video from the VLE induction course, then you will see a list of the resources we have through them. And now I'm going to give you a whistle stop tour. So let's just go for library search, the front page of the LST library catalogue, librarysearch.lst.ac.uk. So you can see it's typed above. Sign into your account. This is a good regular habit to have. It will take you to the LST Shibboleth screen. Type in your email sign in, use your email sign in and log in. Now to search all resources, you would have to click on the EDS link. When I say EDS, it's short for EBSCO Discovery Service, and it's this one here. So we're going to sign into that. Now you have to choose UK Higher Education. Scroll right to the bottom and choose UK Higher Education. And then just make this bigger so you can see it. Down to our name, which is here. and you should be in. Yes, here we are. This is the EBSCO Discovery Service, and you won't be using it very much until you do research, but you'll see at the bottom, the well, reason I've taken you here is at the bottom, you'll see a list of, of databases, and these all lie behind the EBSCO Discovery Service search, um, as well as other databases. These are just the EBSCO databases. Now, we're not going to click on each individual one here because I want to show you a description of each so that you can come back at another time and read it for your own information if you really want to. So just make the screen the right size again. We're going to click on the library catalogue to take us back there. Opens in a new window. where well, you're still logged in, which is good. Um, so... We're going to go down to the bottom and the right. Can you see it says choose EBSCO databases? Click on that again. There we go. This is a different form of sign-in screen, but just choose the institutional login. And it should take you straight in because you've already signed in with Shibboleth um, on this session, so it doesn't ask you to do it again. Now you'll see here, this is a list of the databases, each with a description of what that database holds. They also give you some free ones like this one. That's quite good. Dissertations for other universities. As you can see, going through the list, you see all of these. ERIC, as you see, it's, it stands for Education Resource Information Center. More important for are MA in Theological Education students, and they're all off campus. So although you will be automatically searching those sources when you do um, either a discovery search through the Library Search Catalogue or through the EBSCO Discovery Service, the full version, um, they are specially bought for our Theological Education students. See, all sorts there. You even, I whiz by it, but can you see the Library Catalogue's in there too? That's the old library catalogue, so don't bother going there yet. We've yet to load in the new one. Actually, by the time you read this, it may already be loaded in. So, you've scrolled right down. You've seen all the things. and But you'll notice as you've gone by, there says more information. Now, some have a title list. So if I click on the title list there, it'll show you all. These are all journal titles. All these titles and you've got an alphabetical list here so that shows you that and if 
you want to know even more about a particular source, click on more information. It'll have a pop-up. And this is a, a help screen from EBSCO. And that gives you really, really super detailed um, resources for searching and the like. Um, you may not want to do that. You may want to. But it's all there online should you have the yearning. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to dip into a few of the databases just to whiz past you what they look like. You've seen the Atla one. I'm going to go into the religion ebook collection. And at the top it says ebooks. Click on that. You get a little blast of various book covers and their titles. Oh, we just bought that one there last last year. Um, uh, so we have the physical copy. Many of these will be duplicates of physical copies we have in the library. So it's a good idea. If you can't find it in the library, if you're not an online student, obviously, to um, try and find it online. Of course, for online students, that would be the first port of call. So nip out of there. You've got dictionary in here as well. Um, it is an American dictionary, so it might not be suitable for our purposes in Britain. But as you can see, I've selected the term there. Press enter. It's quite quick. There we go. You can see all related terms there. Okay, that's the dictionary. One, two, three, back and four. And I'll just dip into another one. And um, we've got a, ah uh, yes, Religion and Philosophy Collection. This is a mixture of journals and books, but you can click on Publications and it'll give you the full list there. Different, looks similar to the other list, doesn't it? But they're all different titles. Okay, well, that's the end of those databases. Let's get back to the original screen of the library. Just go to the top of this one and back. Oh, actually, just crash out of it and we'll go straight to the library catalog there because it popped up in a different window anyway. So, um, so when you search using the drop down on library search and discovery mode, you're searching all of those databases so at once. So I just type theology and oh, theology, that's very good. Let's uh, stop that. And yeah, it didn't. Oh, it's that's interesting. Okay, I'll just type it properly theology. I've done it again. Theology. That's it. And there, that's better. So if you scroll down here, I'll just make it bigger so you can see. Scroll down the facets at the bottom of the facet. The last facet to look at is, oh, it usually says, hmm, that's quite surprising. Um, oh, because I've gone to the wrong place, that's why. So, um, that, so you can't actually see what the sources are. But if I go to the full EBSCO Discovery Service, I'm so sorry. Um, although we are searching the same sources almost. Um, the full EBSCO Discovery Service has all of the databases, including a couple which have been left out of the discovery search inside the catalogue. Let's do the same search again, this time properly. Theology. And as soon as you get the hits, now we'll go down to the, facet, the bottom of the facets. You can see Content Provider. If I click on Content Provider, if it stays still, you can see all those databases there and more are hidden. Um, these, if I were to switch it to, you can see there's a lot more databases it searches because a lot of those aren't full text. But if we go to full text, that should limit it. There will be another video in training for using this, but as I said, it's mostly for research students to use. It's probably limited it to the full text. Oh, it hasn't. Never mind. The hits of all text. But you can see the idea. So they're, they're hiding there every time you do a search in either discovery mode for library search or in the full EBSCO discovery service. They're behind what you're searching. And that's the end of the video clip.